Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. It's been a while since we did one, uh, considering that Kanamani's birthday gacha has come, and today is apparently the last day for it. Um, luckily enough, because of the issue, if you guys had pulled it the first time round before the thing got taken down and re uploaded again, you guys probably had enjoyed the benefits of the era <laughs> by getting lots of lucky pulls. So yeah, um, and aside from that, we have Basara's gacha to talk about as well, so this video is a 3-in-1. So let's dive into the gacha page, let's break down each of the gachas before the end, you know, if you are planning to pull Kaname's birthday exclusive gacha, you probably might have to do it by the end of today, um, or rather um, Japan's 8pm time. So, oh no, not 8pm, but 9 p.m. So yeah, just adjust your world clock accordingly. <laughs> so all right, let's talk about Kaname's first because hers is the most important right now because hers will be disappearing by today. Um, so let's take a look at Kaname's well birthday exclusive episode play. Of course, um, as hinted in Utak um, Macross's official Twitter, a previous WoW Cray member was to appear in her birthday illustration and there it is if you can see in the the corner we have Claire so Claire is one of the original Wild Kurei members before Mikumo joined so that's fantastic it's it's nice to always see um tributes to you know non-main characters <laughs> so if you guys didn't know the person who actually voiced Claire is actually Neo from k -On. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people probably will have known her from that series and she is also the artist who helped wrote majority of Valkyrie's music um, that was used in the TV series uh, nothing from the movies you know so like Valkyrie ga Uragiranai that kind of stuff so yeah alright so looking at the exclusive birthday plate. If you guys manage to pull it, uh, good for you because this plate is like all the birthday exclusive plates that have been released recently. Um, they're all pretty high tier. So 3870 total score. A bit of a well balanced stat, just focusing more on soul. Pay attention to who else can use the episode plate. You know, considering that the original three Valkyrie members are in there, that's, that's a very nice hint. Uh, although Reyna is not in the image, but you know, we all know Reyna was a bit of a lone wolf back then when Claire was still around. Uh, Min Mei, surprisingly. I don't know why she's in there, but you know, I guess she has some kind of essence within this episode play. Uh, Alright, so center skill S rank, only activatable in the Blue Element song. So, yeah, unit's total is boosted by 35% up. Not the best percentage as usual, but it still does something. Alright, moving along. Active skill, for 5 seconds, you have that 70% boost in score. So, not the best percentage as we've seen in the usual active skill percentage. But it's still there for a decent amount of, you know, what it can do. So, that's it. We know that Kaname's birthday exclusive plate is meant to be used as a life skill support. So combo bonus, we all know what this means. So if you guys still don't know what it means, you guys really need to catch up on your Utah Macross. All my videos are there in the playlist. Go watch them all. <laughs> Alright, the last page is the most important. Is this the first birthday plate that comes with an exclusive note? Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> so the trend lives on. But you know, with a high total score and a pretty good life skill plus a decent active skill, this plate is definitely a must get for any Kaname fan out there. But you know, when it comes to hardcore playing, probably a decent plate to have in your collection if you don't have something like this already. So all the Kaname fans out there, do try to get it. Uh, I for myself, I am not actually a Kaname fan, uh, but I, I'm just loving the illustration so I'm I'm doing I'm I'm kind of like going to pull this later <laughs> um, for the fact for well Makina and Claire <laughs> although you know Kaname is the center girl 
you know, but the I I for I myself find that the side characters are more appealing to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kaname fans. Uh, I'm just not a big Kaname fan, but you know, Yasuno is good in my books. <laughs> right. So let's move along. Uh, we'll talk about the older ones first. So Basara's brand new, um, I would say remodeled episode plate. So as you can see on the image right now, this is the older plate. And the newer one is just Basara by himself, just drinking water, taking a break from all the singing. So yeah, um, let's take a look at this plate. So 3,870 total score, pretty good total score. Uh, comparing to uh, you know Kaname's birthday exclusive plate. So the thing is, if you guys didn't know, um, ever since the introduction of all these exclusive new birthday gacha episode plates, if it happens to be in the month uh, of the events, if you use the birthday plates, they do give you that secret bonus percentage up in, in your events itself. So a lot of people don't know about it. Uh, I I surprisingly came across it when I was using Ranka's birthday exclusive episode plate and I noticed that extra boost and bonus. <laughs> so yeah, something you learn something new you learn every day. So anyways, um as usual, take note of who else is equivalent with this episode plate. Uh, nicely enough, the birthday girl is included inside. So center skill, you know, star plates. Total is boosted by 60%. Ah, which is pretty fantastic. So, um, I guess it's okay for the current event. Although Dynamite 7 is a rainbow colored song. So, it's not exactly useful, you know, in general. But let's say, for example, if you happen to set up your whole team as yellow star plates, um, I guess the active skill, or rather the center skill, uh, is pretty useful in the kind of, you know, use. So active skill, oh just like Kanami, for 5 seconds that 70% boost in score. I uh, guess it's pretty much the same considering that the life skill is exactly the same. So <laughs> is this a duplicate of Kanami's birthday exclusive plate? Alright so let's take a look. Is it actually better or the same on the last page itself? Oh my goodness! It's actually better! Wow! And this is the first time we've seen a reform re episode plate for a repeated event that actually comes with a special note. And with a high scoring special note off the bat. So, this actually puts it in a very high tiering position right below the god tiers of 7 stars. Wow! So, I guess this is the first repeat event gacha that I say, go for it! <laughs> if you're a Basara fan, that is definitely one plate you must have in your collection because it is also a must-have episode plate um, when it comes to high scoring news. So I know I'm definitely gonna have to pull this gacha now. Uh, wow, so that's like 3 gachas to pull. Holy crap, I don't think my 2600 stones is gonna <laughs> help. <laughs> That's not enough. Alright, so let's talk about a brand new gacha that just dived onto us um, just 20 minutes ago at this point of time I'm recording. So let's take a look at Reina's Mad Hatter uh, exclusive episode plate. Um, a lot of people were guessing that you know it was a wedding costume set for Makina and Reina, but apparently, well, with the release of you know, the images for this episode plate, we now know that, you know, uh, it's actually an Alice in Wonderland theme. So I guess Makina is Alice? <laughs> Since she's wearing a lovely blue dress from the information image that was released at the end of May? So yeah, so as you can tell, no special note attached to Reina's brand new plate. Uh, that's fine. As long as the total score is high, the skills are useful. I think it's a pretty decent plate to get if it does have those. So let's see. Oh, 3,851. Yeah, the total score is somewhat up to par. Uh, well balanced, that's all around. Center skill, total up. So units total is boosted by 30% up. Not the best center skill. We've seen the 
higher you know percentages so hmm all right so it seems like it's a trend now a lot of the episode plates are getting this active skill for five seconds you know 70 percent boost in score score and damage improvement oh no here i thought that reina's plate would be actually somewhat useful um apparently it's not I guess, but you know, it does improve the score and damage abilities on other episode plates. So just like all the improvement skill episode plates out there, it's always good to have one copy around um, of each series or element. You know, just have them around and just slot one in whenever you're building a you know episode plate setup for your divas. It just helps a lot actually. <laughs> Um, when it comes to high scoring. So yeah, like I said, it is not a must get, but it's always good to have around. So yeah, so let's move along. We're gonna do the pools right now. I'm gonna just focus this video on Reima. If you guys want to see me pool for Kaname and Basara, um, you guys look out for my compilation gacha pool videos um, somewhere soon, I guess. Uh, once I've gotten enough video contents to put it together, you can probably see my pools for Kaname and Basara's gacha in the future. So until then, eh, this is all about Ray Ray. So let's do it. Um, the first discounted pool, 10 picks for 300 stones. Let's see how the luck goes. I think most of my luck has been drained from the last two 7 star gachas. Considering that I did get a copy of each of them. Yep, there we go. The bad luck is returning. That's okay. Kind of expected. Oh, at least we get two red boxes. We've seen worse. Oh! Okay, so I can actually unlock Reina's gacha. I mean, costume. By using the episode orb. So that's not too bad. But, you know, considering that it's not a lot of points, it's gonna be very painful on the wallet. Okay, a lot of old repeated comments. There you go, the last red box. So no evolution as expected. Lots of old plates, just one episode plate with that costume point. I don't know, do I have enough episode hops to unlock Reina's costume? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> Okay, going into the Diva tab. Let's tap the episode list. Here we go, Reina's brand new costume. 100 points. Uh, so we need 11, 1100 points more to unlock the comp costume. So, let's see. I'll need at least 10 large episode offs. Do I have that many? Oh, I don't think I do, but you know, considering that I have quite a bit of mediums, I think I'm good. So let's do this. I will be able to unlock Reina's costume right here and now, uh, but I have to try to be lucky next gacha, because <laughs> I definitely will not have enough episode orbs to unlock Makina's Alice costume when it comes around, so hopefully the luck refreshes by then. Okay, there we go, so we are using 5 medium ones, and one tiny one. Oh, nope, that's too many, I said one. <laughs> okay. There we go. Unlocking Reina's costume. Alright, Reina's costume unlocked. Interesting design on the shoes though. I mean, it matches the color theme for the suit. Kind of? I don't know, this looks like some kind of Jester's design. Wouldn't Matt Hatter actually wear something like this? 
I mean, the top portion, yes, but the, the shoes, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you guys know what's going to happen next after this gacha video. If you guys want to see Reyna perform in the exclusive um, animated sequence with whatever song this costume is linked to, you guys can find me on my YouTube Facebook page. Links in the description as always. And as usual guys, let me know about you know your thoughts on the episode plates that have appeared for Kaname's birthday. Basara's uh, remodeled episode plate. And Reina's Mad Hatter gacha. So guys, let me know as always your thoughts in the comments again. And yeah, leave a like to this video if you enjoyed all the information, appreciate the stuff I do, and subscribe if you want more content just like this in the future, and I'll see you guys soon. I have a unboxing video coming up, actually, by the end of today, I suppose. So hopefully you guys are, you know, excited for it, and let's weave out together with all the otaku stuff that I actually got. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Bye.